Hello, good evening. I'm Natalia Wilmot and welcome to my third masterclass, um, Eco-Conscious Wrapping. Uh, it's actually a, a subject um, really close to my heart. I love getting items from my store that are eco or that help the planet or doesn't put an extra carbon footprint on the planet. And there's so many things that you can do. Uh, so let's talk first about uh, that a little bit. Um, in the UK, according to eBay, um, we, we gave in 2019 2.2 .2 billion of unwanted gifts. So that, that is absolutely crazy when you think about it. Um, so I think one of the things, obviously, about giving consciously and wrapping, therefore, is to make sure that we're giving the right gifts. Um, and so there's lots of things that we can do. Also, the figure that I have is, I have to read it, 227,000 miles of wrapping paper we use in a year in that uh, the Christmas period, which is kind of crazy as well. And we are going to throw eight, sorry, 83 kilometers square in the bin of that. So it's, it's absolutely humongous, you know. I mean, unbelievable when you think how much that is. 83 kilometers square of wrapping paper is going in the bin. Um, what I believe is that we can't do absolutely everything and we've got to make a choice, but every year we can have little steps that will slowly help reduce our carbon footprint, help the planet, there's lots of little things that we can do uh, to do that. So one of the things I'd like to think about is all the different ways um, of buying gifts. So um, you can go organic, um, you can go vegan, <laughs> you can go um, local so you're buying something from the local so you're helping maybe the community there uh, you're creating a relationship with someone local uh, you're buying from a local artist for example or a local designer so you know you can see where the things are made so that's one way that we can kind of cut of course the the miles um, but uh, you can also give um, let me just think, um, yeah, so local, independent businesses, uh, also social contribution. So what you're buying is helping, for example, uh, educate somebody in India. Why not? Uh, or, um, I don't know, it helps someone live in Lebanon. Um, helps someone uh, with a particular craft in Kenya, for example. Um, so you can think of all these different things, but the most important thing is obviously thinking of who you're buying for, what are their ethics, what do they like, and the more you think and really consciously think, who am I giving this gift to? and more than thinking about, oh, I like it, uh, the more you can help, I think. Uh, we, we, we can have a bit of a debate at the end. Um, also, you can kind of go for plastic-free items, recycled materials. Of course, um, I love everything that's vintage and antiques. Uh, so those are good as well. Um, repurposed items there's so many ways that you can go for your gifts of course you can give the gift of time as well you know helping someone paint a room for example um baking something yourself and giving it or making something yourself and giving it there's so many routes that we can go for gift giving anyway today it's about wrapping <laughs> so 
uh, I've got a few ideas. So I forgot to show this uh, the other day. Um, it's a really simple thing to do with a ribbon. Uh, it does involve tape, whereas the rest of my items won't involve tape. So let me show you how this works. So let's say I'm taking just a plain box like that. And I kind of want to beautify it a bit and make it look nice. So I'm going to just put a piece of tape in there, in the center. I'm actually going to put a double piece of tape because it's quite a big box. So two pieces of tape there. And so I'm going to take my ribbon. So I've decided to take this. Uh, we did talk about ribbon, is it eco or not? And then what we're going to start doing is we're going to stick the top here and then we're going to fold. I don't know if you can see it. And we're going to come close up again and then we're going to make our, it's like a Christmas tree. So we're going to make these loops wider as we go down the box. So we're kind of, let's do it like this. Oh no, you can't see it if I do it like that. Right, like that. And then we're folding, whoops. It's actually difficult to demonstrate, isn't it? But hopefully you get that. We're folding like in a crisscross and making, and you see, so this one's a bit wider here, and then we're crossing it over a bit, a slight angle, slight diagonal. Next one, a bit wider. No, I didn't do that one wide enough. Let's do that again. Ooh, my, oh no, now <laughs> I'm in trouble. There we go, a bit wider here. There, and then we're going to do one more. That's the bottom of our tree. And then we're just going to take our scissors and we're going to cut there. There we go. So that's our little tree. And then if you want, you can decorate it, you can write something on the box. Um, Anyway, I thought this was quite cute and I meant to show you that last time. Now I'm going to show you in Japan, they wrap a lot of gifts with fabric and it's called uh, furoshiki. And it's a great technique because you don't need any tape, You don't need anything like that. I mean, obviously you can't wrap everything, but, um, I thought I would use um, a local artist uh, called Gerard Hobson. He makes lovely um, animals from the forest, um, cutouts and prints and cards. And this year he's made some tea towels. Uh, so I thought I would use his tea towel to wrap something. So let's say I'm wrapping this book here. So I am going to, I need a square. So I've kind of folded a corner here. Then I'm going to fold this here, uh, like a triangle. And if you can see, I'm gonna put this around here. I'm going around more. And then I'm gonna bring that in front, fold that here. And I'm just going to take the two ends and wrap it really tightly in a knot in the center. So of course you can do this with a piece of fabric that you've got left. Um, and there we go. And all we need to do now is maybe take um, because 
it's all like pheasants and birds and things like that. So just take a piece of pine or a natural element or some sticks and then just put it there with a, a tag. And that's one gift done. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, you can use scarves that you've got. You can use pieces of fabric. Everybody's got a piece of fabric or uh, I'm sure a piece of wallpaper or something left over. Um, obviously, you can't do that with wallpaper, but you can use that to wrap gifts. Now, I've got a little piece of fabric and I've got something round. Uh, let's make another one like that. So there's four corners, obviously, in this fabric. So we're going to take corner one, two, and three. We're putting them together. Show you like that. I'm going to take corner one, and I'm going to bring it all the way around. There. And I'm going to knot it with corner four. Hope that makes sense. like that knotted big knot and then i'm going to just make sure i've got in the center and i'm going to bring the other two like that like a lovely bow and that's it you've wrapped something round really quickly really easily and it's quite cute i've reused some fabric uh, now we're going to wrap something else. Um, so I've got these lovely napkins that I sell. I was thinking, actually, why don't I use one to wrap? So if you're going to give a set, why not use that? So I put the left, because it's a set of four, I'm going to put the rest of the napkins. And I've decided I'm actually going to give some pickles. So I'm going to put that in the center. And I'm going to take two corners. I'm going to do a knot. It's slightly different than the other one. Like that. And then I'm going to take the two other corners. Like there. And that creates a little bundle. I'm just going to tuck everything in. Yeah, it's just a little bundle like that. And it's quite nice because you don't really know what's inside. So, how you like that? <laughs> anyway, so that's cute. And then again, you know, you can kind of decorate it with something. So we could actually, I think I've got a little hole here. You know, I, I thought actually I had these, I don't know what they're called, but they're really lovely. I bought them a couple of years ago and they had, um, they had some um, leaves, but they've dried out. There's little, anyway, so <laughs> they've lasted. So it kind of looks quite cute like that. That's one thing. Then we did talk about, you know, taking some, whatever you've got from the garden, sticks, leaves, drying them, taking things that dry really easily, um, some herbs, and then creating a cone, and then just popping it on onto the gift. So you can do that as well, that's quite eco, and then that's a good way to use little bits of paper as well. Um, then here I've just wrapped, again, another piece of fabric, just with a bit of ribbon and a tag, and I've put a Christmas decoration on top. Again, that's just wrapped the same way as a normal gift, except I haven't used any cello tape. I've just pleated it like that at the back. So that's another way. And then I don't know if I showed you that last time, but we, you know, using bits of paper that I left over, you can do a strip. Um, you can also do like, if you don't have that much ribbon or you've got a piece of ribbon that you're reusing, just like that. It does need a tiny bit of tape at the back, but just one tiny strip. If you think about it, uh, people were using 
so much, so much sellotape. So sellotape is really bad. So using it minimally, I think, is already a good way towards, you know, helping the planet. Um, let me just try and think what else I wanted to say. So let me let me look at the chat. Yeah. So anything that you've got, any piece of fabric, you know, cut. If you've got um, what are they called, pinking scissors or shearing scissors, you know, you could do a lovely edge like that. Um, everything like that is to reuse and. I've actually got a box where I keep the ribbons. Um, I even iron the ribbons and sometimes I keep tissue paper. <laughs> you can iron it and use it again. Um, there's so many things that you can reuse and I love the, the concept of your wrapping being part of your gift. Uh, so that's really what I wanted to show tonight. So thank you so much for watching. 